games and relaxation. Time to think. What do you do when you get back home from school? All of us love to play games and enjoy ourselves when we are free. Playing any game of our choice helps us feel cheerful. Games or sports are important for our physical and mental development. A sport is an activity performed with physical strength, mental alertness and skills. It can be played individually, in pairs or as a team. Every school encourages sports activities for its students. People enjoy sports as hobbies or as their profession. Indoor and outdoor games. Indoor games. Indoor games are those that can be played within an enclosed place or building. For example, board games such as carrom, chess, ludo and scrabble are indoor games. Table tennis, bowling and billiards are some other games that are generally played indoors. Outdoor games Outdoor games require space and are played outside in neighborhood parks and playgrounds of schools and sports clubs. Cricket, hockey, football, tennis, golf and polo are some such games. Team games and individual games Team games Games played between two groups are called team games. Both the groups are called teams. A team is formed when more than one person plays on the same side of a game. Equal number of players in both the teams play against each other. Games like hockey, cricket, football and basketball are played between two teams. Individual games. There are many games such as shooting, billiards and golf played by a single person. Such games are called individual games. Pair games. Games like table tennis, tennis and badminton are played either in single or double pairs. Team spirit. A player is a part of the team. Players belonging to different regions, religions and economic backgrounds join together to represent their team. While playing in a team, it is important to have the right team spirit. Team spirit is the feeling of harmony and unity among the players. They share the common aim to compete and win against their opponents. They should play for the team and not just to make individual records. The following things should be remembered to maintain team spirit. Play for the team and do the best of your capacity. Do not fight with other players even if they make a mistake. Be respectful and understanding. Be disciplined and do not cheat. Consider the opinion of each player. There is a big responsibility on the captain of a team. It is important for the captain of a team that he should plan and discuss the strategy of the game with the team. He should not have favourites in his team. It is the captain's responsibility to encourage his team members all the time. This helps them when they do not play well and guide them correctly. Captain of the team must have the following qualities. A good captain must be trustworthy. A good captain is passionate, dedicated and focused. A good captain is confident and instills confidence in others. A good captain is tolerant, calm and composed in all circumstances. A good captain sets an example for the teammates. A good captain is committed to excellence. A good captain gives credit and recognizes the contribution of each team member. National Game The national game of a country is that game or sport which is considered to be an important part of the culture of the country. For example, hockey is the national game of India. 
between 1928 and 1956, India won six gold medals in hockey at the Olympics. The origin of hockey actually goes back to ancient Egypt and Greece, where games were played with curved sticks and a ball. Traditional games of India. Sports and games have been an important part of the Indian culture through the ages. Some traditional sports like kabaddi are played at the national level even today. Kabaddi. Kabaddi is an old and popular game of India and the subcontinent. This game combines the characteristics of both wrestling and rugby. In fact, it is the state game of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Punjab and the national game of Bangladesh where it is known as Hadudu. The game requires a lot of stamina, agility and skill. It is popularly known as Hudutu in Maharashtra, Takarjang in Punjab and Dodo in Nepal. It was introduced in the Asian Games for the first time in 1990 in Beijing, China. Koko Koko is one of the most popular traditional sports in India. Like all Indian games, it is simple, inexpensive and enjoyable. This game is more popular among girls. The game is played between two teams of 12 players each. However, in the match, only a player takes part. The game is played in innings of 7 minutes each. Members of the chasing team has to chase and touch the member of the running team with her palms and utter the word Ko loudly. Each side alternates between chasing and running. Wrestling or Kushti Wrestling or Kushti is a traditional game still very popular in many parts of India. A wrestling match is played on a clay ground or mud pit. In this game, two wrestlers compete with each other and attempt to throw the other on the floor. Most wrestlers build up a strong body by exercising and following a strict diet. They are trained by ustads or experts in special codes known as akharas. Martial Arts The term martial arts means arts concerned with war. The practice of martial arts helps in improving one's physical and mental strength. People also practice and learn martial arts because they teach self-defense, karate, kung fu and judo are some famous international martial arts. Martial arts have also been an important part of local Indian games since the Vedic era. Many forms of games are practiced even today. Pahalwani is modern India's wrestling. Kalari Payattu is practiced in Kerala and Tamil Nadu. It includes kicks and strikes, grappling and dance, weaponry and healing techniques. Mala Yuddha is traditional Indian wrestling. Vajra Mushti is similar to Kung Fu. Chakram is like modern Frisbee. Thangta is a Manipuri martial art in which weapons like sword, axe and spear are used. 